My father immigrated from Taiwan and my mother immigrated from um, Hong Kong. My family's originally German, uh, German immigrants. They came from Egypt in 72. I came here when I was five years old and I came here as an illegal immigrant. <laughs> they came and um, with only $500 in their pocket and, and they made it. They actually eventually like uh, worked very hard and bought a house and raised me and my sister. So I'm very proud of being American. They've traveled this far and now we have shut the gates and we want to lock them up and send them home. It's a little scary. These poor kids are being misled by the traffickers down there in Central America, letting them know that uh, they're free and safe passage to the United States. So they think they get a free ticket. When they hit the border, they get something else. There are children involved, so it, it definitely is a humanitarian crisis. What are you going to do? You're going to push them back? to a place where they could lose their life. They had no idea what they were coming to, and our laws led them to believe that they would be sheltered. And now they're not. They're being locked up and possibly deported. From my understanding, they're not really enforcing it, or it seems that they're not enforcing it. And I think that these are part of the, part of the reason that we're seeing so much protests. I think our policy needs a little bit of tweaking. I mean. You know, do we have a sealed border? Do we have an open border? What, what, what are we really trying to portray here? You get more immigrants in, you get more entrepreneurs in, you get more people willing to work, you get more people willing to start up, willing to take a risk. And it seems like every time we've done that as a country, economies boomed afterwards. I think they ought to allocate at the very least some of those resources to help to expedite those cases to uh, get these kids either back to where they belong or to put them in a, in a place where they're going to thrive. Maybe an expanded foster care system or temporary foster care system to, to sort it out. That's probably, and uh, they need to be taught so there needs to be some kind of education infrastructure for them. We built this country on immigrants coming in, and if we are allowing anyone in, we need to open the door to everyone. We can't just say this type of person can't come. You got to make it definitive one way or the other. I mean, I'm not, I'm not here to make policy. I'm here for what the United States stands for. You know, the Statue of Liberty stands for its freedom, it's a chance, it's an opportunity. You know, either we do that or we seal the border. We got to be definitive and do it one way or the other.